What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video today We're doing something I haven't done in such a long time We're gonna be rebuilding two teams at the same exact time, but not any two teams We got the worst team in the West the worst team at least the Hornets and the Rockets both the worst teams in the league So today we're gonna take them from being the worst teams in the league to the absolute best Let's go before we get into today's video, make sure you guys drop a like on this one. Of course, subscribe if you are new to the channel. As always, greatly appreciated. We're posting rebuilds like this all the time. They're a ton of fun. The Rockets, or the Hornets, I should say, are 11-34, while the Rockets are 10-34. Both teams very, very bad this year, as we know. And we are going to try to meet these two teams in the finals for as many times as we can. I think it could be a ton of fun. We're going to basically be transforming both teams as much as we can. So the Rockets... Jalen Green, Shingun, Kevin Porter Jr., Jabari Smith Jr. There's a lot to like here in Houston. On the other side, you have like LaMelo, Terry Rozier, Plumlee, Oubre, Hayward, P.J. Washington. Where this is all going to start for us is at the trade deadline, especially for the Hornets who have a ton of guys they could trade away for assets. That way we can start flipping assets and getting you know, pieces here to make these two rosters contenders and try to get them to meet up in the finals at least once. If we can't do it more than once, let's do it at least one time and try to get both teams a championship if we can. So... Uh, wh whatever that looks like, we're going to try to make it happen. So we're going to start at the trade deadline. So let's wait to the trade deadline and let's start making some moves, especially for the Hornets who have a lot of guys they could sell. The Rockets have a couple guys, but the Hornets, they have a lot we could sell. So let's start there. Today's video is brought to you by Prize Picks. Prize Picks is a player props app that allows you to choose overs or unders on your favorite players that you enjoy watching each and every day. It is available on mobile or desktop, and this is how it looks. They give you the number, and you're going to choose over or under on it. They pretty much have every sport you can imagine, whether it's soccer, NFL, NHL. They have a ton of different options, so this is how it works. You choose between two to six players, two being three times your money, all the way up to six players, 25 times your money. Price Picks has just elevated my watching experience to a whole new level. So if you want to sign up, I also have some of my entries as examples here. That way you can kind of see how it works. But if you want to sign up, links in the description. Use code CRUSHABLES. They match your deposit dollar for dollar up to $100. Thank you, Price Picks, for sponsoring today's video. So we are starting the trade deadline, and the update is the Hornets have only won uh, three or four games, and the Rockets have only won like one game. So that's kind of where we're at. Or two, I guess. It was uh, Thunder and the Kings, and then I think we won two with the Hornets. So yeah, so far, both teams are tanking bad as we know, but we are still have the trade deadline because we want to make some moves. Uh, the Rockets, the only guy I think they're going to be looking to move obviously is Eric Gordon. Uh, he's the guy that's kind of been here and uh, it's pretty apparent he doesn't want to be there anymore. Now, what are they going to give for him? I have no idea. Is some team going to be willing to throw a first round pick at them? We can check the trade finder as usual. I try to make these somewhat realistic, so I don't want to go too crazy overboard. If there's not a good trade in here, probably not going to do anything crazy i don't know if there's a team that's really going to trade for eric gordon like that like they're just dying to have eric gordon like i could trade him maybe for like a second round pick like the miami he want to give me a second round pick and i take on dr robinson's terrible contract i'm kind of good on that don't really want that evan fournier again i mean if i was getting rid of eric gordon i think i just want at least a second round pick if not if nothing else give me a second i don't know which team immediately the the team i can think of is like the mavericks who have like davis Breton's terrible contract like that could match up pretty well so if i can get like a second maybe a couple seconds for eric gordon i feel pretty good about that they don't want to take on the extra salary that makes sense yeah so eric gordon we're not going to worry about it we'll just you know decline him in the off season so this is where i actually want to start selling guys so rosier uh Oubre, we could trade gordon hayward in the off season or whatever we got washington Jeremy mcdaniels has been a guy that's been kind of mentioned as a guy that teams are looking at so uh, let's start with Rozier, because Rozier is definitely going to be wanted around the league. There's going to be a ton of teams that would love his services, whether he's a six-man or just another ball handler, of course, like I said for them. So uh, the Cavaliers offered me a first-round pick in Levert. That is definitely tempting. We just could walk away with a first. Derek White in a first, and that's expiring Levert contract as well. And Levert's not a bad player either to have next to Lomelo if we wanted to keep him. I uh, got the Magic offered me, Jonathan Isaac, Mo Wagner. Not sure why the Magic would want another guard. The Nets give me Yuta Watanabe and Joe Harris. I'd be willing to trade him to the Nets if the Nets were willing to give me a first round pick. Uh, let's say you gave me this pick and then let's say we try to squeeze another, uh, you know, pick out of them. So let's say uh, 2027 for Rozier. They don't agree. They want a second. So two first round picks for Terry Rozier and we take on Joe Harris's bad contract. Eh, it might be a little steep. Maybe just one pick would get it done. I don't know. What do you guys think about Rozier? Is he worth two firsts or you think one first is good enough? I'll take the one first. I don't want to finesse too hard, so I'll just go ahead and do that. We get one first Rozier. Maybe could have gotten two. 
Um, now we're going to go to Kelly Oubre, who I want a first round pick for as well. So we got Rozier out of here. So we got a first round pick for him, which is exactly what I wanted. And now the Cavs are once again offering that Levert package in a first. If I can get something for Oubre, I'm happy. So let's see what else we can get. So go with Rozier. And uh, now we're going to be trading Oubre. And the best trade that we can obviously see is going to be that Cavs trade where we get Levert. So going to be giving Kelly Oubre over to the Cavs for Karis Levert and a first round pick. Feel good about that one as well. Is there anyone else I want to sell here? Like I said McDaniels has been kind of a topic of conversation, but I wouldn't mind keeping him either. So I'll throw him out here. If there's a good offer, then I'll take it. If not, so like the Clippers offer me a 2027 first for an Amir Coffee. That's actually a solid idea. The Grizzly offer me a first round pick in Kennedy Chandler. Kind of like it as well. So let me get another first. And Knicks are offering me a first in 2026 in Ryan Archie Diacono. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to go ahead and do that trade with the Knicks. We're going to trade Jalen McDaniels as well. So that is the selling pieces that we have done. So that is kind of our trade deadline. Plumlee, I'm not too worried about getting anything for him. I don't think he'd go for a lot anyway. Gordon Hayward, not really obviously worried about trading him. We could wait till the offseason to do that. I don't even know if a team is really lining up to take on Gordon Hayward. Anyway, so that is our trade deadline. Let's keep simulating, of course. Next step is the draft lottery. At the end of the season, you have the Pelicans go on to win the championship. Zion is your finals MVP. If you want to look at the stats for this season, you had LaMelo lead the way with 25. LaVert had 14. And on the other hand, you had Jalen Green with 19 and Kevin Porter Jr. with 18 and 14 and a half from Jabari. So uh, definitely going to be a busy offseason for both sides. Of course, we start with the draft lottery. LeBron James is going to retire. That should only help us you know, help our chances of potentially... Actually, let's keep him in the league. I think uh, LeBron doesn't usually do very good anyway when it comes to trying to go win a championship in the simulation. It never seems to go their way, but it's going to start with the lottery. So it's kind of nice to be able to uh, root for two teams because we have double the chance at a first round pick. So they're both projected one and two. So we have double the chance at Victor Webb and Yama, I guess you can say. So uh, Raptors 14. I don't think I want to wait and watch the whole thing. I think we have a lot of work to do. So let's just go ahead, skip to the lottery results. Let's see if the Hornets or the Rockets... Get the number one pick, and we don't get lucky either way. So we got the Rockets number five and number... Wow, we dropped down bad on both sides. We got five and six. So we're going to have to go a different direction as far as trying to uh, get Victor Webney out. <laughs> I thought Victor Webney out was just going to save this video. It would be easy, but no, that's not going to be the case. We have been thrown another challenge here. So uh, I'll keep Steve Clifford and Steven uh, as my head coaches. That's totally fine. I guess I got to fill this out a little bit. So let me fill out the coaching staff for both sides. And then uh, we got some creativity to work on. Or we got to get creative here because we did not get a good pick at all. Either team did not. Since we're not getting Victor Webb and Yama on draft night for the Charlotte Hornets, who desperately need a center, the Suns are kind of down bad right now in real life as well. So I'm trying to snag DeAndre Aiden from the Phoenix Suns to start off, you know, trying to transform this team. So I don't know what the idea will be with DeAndre Aiden and what the Suns are going to want, but they can walk away with a very high draft pick, Mark Williams. Obviously, it's kind of a rebuild package, but they can flip this package and turn it into something really good. And then I can give them like Cody Martin as well, which actually I guess they can't take. But if I offer this and maybe another future first on top of that for DeAndre Aiden, I feel like the Suns would be inclined to maybe accept this. They do agree. So just like that, we go ahead and clear a path to get LaMelo and DeAndre Aiden on the same team, which I do like a lot. So we kind of have our new center point guard duo. I think DeAndre Aiden will be a lot more valued, valued here in Charlotte as well, which as a huge move we needed to make. So really love DeAndre Aiden here with LaMelo Ball. That's the first move I wanted to make to try to get something going there. So got that done. So now we're going to head to draft night where we're going to be picking for the Rock because we just traded our pick to the Suns in order to get DeAndre Aiden. So as far as uh, Webin Yama goes number one, Scoot goes number two, of course, Whitmore, and then Thompson. So at number five, we can take... Brandon Miller, who I think I am going to select for the Rockets. So Brandon Miller should be a very good selection here. So welcome Brandon Miller to the Houston Rockets. I feel good about that one. We also had a late first as well. So I'm going to be taking, uh, I got Mari Bailey, Chris Murray. Give me a Mari Bailey here for the Rockets and that will be my draft. So feel pretty good about that. Of course, we didn't have a pick with the Hornets anymore. I don't believe we had a second, uh, but no big deal. So probably not going to assign him. So Mari Bailey, Brandon Miller, welcome to the Rockets. I think those are very two good selections. Player options on both sides. Eric Gordon, I am declining. And then on the other side, looks like we're going to be accepting all these for the Hornets. So we have a couple pieces to be excited about in Charlotte, but the Rockets, we have a lot to be excited about. Their, their team is already stacked as it is. I'm kind of inheriting a good roster in Houston. So I don't need to do anything crazy in Houston. One thing that has been kind of a rumor is James Harden maybe returning to Houston. So that could be something we take a look at if we wanted to do that. Go that direction. And that could really put us in a dynasty kind of thing. So might do that. I low-key might get crazy and sign James Harden. I might do it. Who knows? Uh, LaMelo Ball. And then on the other side, LaMelo Ball. 
uh, James Book Knight, Cody Martin, Joe Harris. Not a lot to be excited about over here whatsoever. So I think the one thing I'm going to do to uh, fix the Rockets, just take care of this right now, is I am, because right now they have like a full rotation. There's a lot to be excited about here. Garuba, Shingun. Let's just put this team over the top as it is already. Jalen Green's going to be ready to compete. Kevin Porter Jr. is solid. We can keep him as a six man. I am going to go ahead and give James Harden a contract. It is a rumor. And I am going to try to steal James Harden from the Philadelphia 76ers. I don't know if he's going to accept it. Uh, it's not looking like it. Damn, that would have been awesome. But let me see if I can uh, maybe let's see if I can try to change the, the offer. I don't know if this is going to uh, change anything, but it would be amazing if I get Harden here just right away and put this team over the top. So um, is there any way I can make this deal any better? No and no. So I'm basically flat player option no trade clause uh this back yeah so he's not gonna accept it unfortunately he's gonna be going back to philadelphia which kind of sucks would have loved if i could have gotten james harden from philly but fortunately i can so i guess if we can't get james harden we could go a different direction but that would have been my favorite guy by far to get on this rockets roster so maybe we don't do anything else uh, as far as the hornets are concerned we have some money as well could get crazy and sound like porzingis uh, you got Christian Wood out here, Jeremy Grant, Fred Van Vliet, DeAndre Russell. We need something, that's for sure. Kyle Kuzma wants a lot of money. Spencer Dinwiddie. Uh, Gary Trent Jr. could be a really solid shooting guard next to Lamelo. A nice off-ball 3 and D shooter, which we kind of need at the shooting guard spot to be excited about. So, yeah, I would be okay with signing like a Gary Trent Jr. here for Charlotte. He's not going to be the best piece in the world, but I think he could be a really nice starter piece to this rebuild. So, I'm going to go with that. And then again, I am going to hope that James Harden somehow accepts my offer in Houston. I doubt it, though. So I am signing Gary Trent Jr. back for uh, or signing Gary Trent Jr. to the Hornets. And then on the other hand, fortunately, we're not getting James Harden. He goes back to Philadelphia. Unless if he falls out, which he might. You never know. We're not going to get James Harden. And uh, he did not fall out. So that's unfortunate. And uh, we only got Gary Trent Jr. here in Charlotte. So got to fill out the rest of the roster. A little, little bit more pieces. This Hornets team is not even close to ready to be a, a contender slash dynasty or whatever I'm trying to build here. So I didn't do too much with the Rockets, of course. The only thing I really did is I signed Shake Milton to be my backup point guard, maybe a guy I can trade later down the road. And on the Hornets side of things, I obviously got Gary Trent, as you guys saw. I re-signed Karis Avert. I re-signed PJ Washington. I got Nick Richards back. So this Hornets team is not even close to ready. It's just not. We got DeAndre in this offseason, which is great. Uh, we're definitely gonna have to go to the trade deadline next season uh, with the hornets and be very aggressive i have some salaries that i can definitely throw in some trades so that is probably the direction we're going to go in so whoever is selling we're going to be buyers probably the deadline trying to get something going here in charlotte and then on the rocket side of things i tried to get james harden that didn't work out uh, but these guys are going to keep developing and uh, later down the road there is going to be a trade that could be made to put this rockets team over the top as well so it's just a matter of being patient with both these teams i tried to get it done in one off season that was not just gonna it just wasn't gonna happen so it is what it is the rockets might actually sneak into the playoffs the horns on the other hand i'm not sure i'm as confident but like i said the goal is to get both these teams to meet in the final so um as far as shot tendencies are concerned i wanted to take a look at this real quick jalen greens is too low for for me in my opinion and then jabari i'll keep as uh at the way it is on the other side we got uh, i guess i gotta go to this okay shot tendency on the hornets Go Lamelo. I'm gonna put DeAndre Ayton up, and I'm put Gary Trent Jr. up. So I think that's the only thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna still wait the rest of the season. Rotation for the Hornets is gonna be Lamelo, Gary Trent, Lavert, Washington, Ayton, Richards, Metu, Theo, and Cody Martin. Not great. And on the other side for the Rockets, uh, very good rotation. Kevin Porter Jr., Jalen Green. They want to start Kenyon Martin, Jabari, we have Shingun, Shake Milt, or Shake Milton. Yeah, Brandon Miller, Jayshon Tate, Tar Eason. Group is not getting minutes. So we're very deep. I'm going to send one to the trade deadline and we're going to see where we're at uh, as far as both squads are concerned. And uh, we'll see if there is a trade to be made to put one or, you know, either team over the top. So I am stopped at the trade deadline. The Rockets 25 and 30, the Hornets 24 and 32. So we're kind of on that outside plan tournament mediocrity point at this point in the video. So I want to transform that if I can. I have an idea for the Rockets that I really, really love. And uh, I'm going to try to make it happen. So I'm going to go over to the Portland Trail Blazers and try to get Anthony Simons from the Blazers, 24 years old. He's going to be an amazing backcourt member next to Jalen Green. Those two would be able to score the ball at will. Uh, this would be the sign of the Blazers just blowing it up, I guess. So I'm going to go with Simons and uh, I'm going to try to trade them Kevin Porter Jr. And uh, probably give them like another piece, of course, as well. So I gave them like Ty Ty Washington and then this Nets pick uh, and then maybe another first. I think this would get go through where we get Anthony Simons, who I think would be an absolute stud 
to put next to Jalen Green. So I'm doing this trade and they do agree. So just like that, we get Anthony Simons next to Jalen Green. He's going to go up in overall as well. So that is solved over here in Houston. Anthony Simons, Jalen Green. And then I do eventually want to just start Brandon Miller or Tari Eason. I don't really think Kenyon Martin starting is necessary. So I'm going to move him to power forward and Brandon Miller start at small forward. So that's how the rotation will go. I'm going to run into a nine-man rotation. So loving this new rotation. There's going to be more moves we can make as well. But Simons, Jalen Green, Jabari should keep developing, and Shingun. Brandon Miller's only to keep developing. I think we have it kind of solved here in Houston. On the other hand, the Hornets, a little bit more challenging. We definitely need another forward. I don't even know if I want to keep Gary Trent Jr. as a starting shooting guard, to be honest with you. But we need a forward in the worst way possible. And the forward I have in mind is going to be Laurie Markkinen over there in Utah. His shot tendency is probably super low, but he's averaging 15 points per game. I think he'd be the perfect power forward to put next to DeAndre Aiden and then LaMelo Ball. Giving them Washington book night and a first round pick. And they should accept that. They do not, though. Uh, I'll give this Cavaliers pick as well. So two first for marketing and just like that, they agree. So we got two trades done, which is what we very much wanted to do. So Lori Markin will be joining the new rotation. And now you have Laverta small forward, Gary Trent, the two. So that is just another step in the process. So we are getting closer and closer to where we want to be. We got Simons and Lori Markin the deadline for both teams. Let's keep going. Maybe both teams make the playing tournament. Who knows? Maybe we can make the finals this year. Probably not, though. That's probably too optimistic thinking, but let's see what happens. So update on this challenge. The Rockets did not make the playing tournament, but we did have the Hornets actually make the playing tournament. If we look at the stats for both sides, you had 29 from LaMelo, 19 from Gary Trent, 18 from Aiden, and 15 from Markkinen. So not too bad. On the other side of things, on the Rockets, you had Anthony Simons and probably Jalen Green lead the way. Uh, but 29 from Jalen Green, 21, and then 18 and a half. So Jabari is going to keep developing, which is nice. And Shingun, absolute really good center. So I like that a lot. So let's see if we can get the Hornets into the play or the playoffs. And hey, we made it. So we get again, go against the Cavaliers. Maybe Lloyd Marketing could be on his revenge tour here and upset the Cavaliers. One thing I do want to do before we go any forward is I know marketing shot tendency is absolutely terrible in this game. So yeah, I'm going to boost that up quite a bit if I can. I'm going to move it to like an 80. So. Markin, I need you to be on your revenge tour, but we are playing the Cavs, so don't know if that's going to work, and we are going to almost beat them in seven. We went to seven with Cleveland. Not a bad, not bad, but now this offseason where I really want to buckle down and get both teams in the finals next year. That is my goal, so if we can't get them in the finals, let's try to get the first seed in each conference if possible. Let's see if we can make that happen. Starting off this offseason with the Hornets trading Karis Avert, Metu, and Martin over to the Clippers for Zubac and Terrence Mann. I'm trying to get my bench really good in Charlotte. We just got to game seven of the first round of the Clippers, or with the Cavs, I should say. We just made a trip to Clippers. On the other side of things, the Rockets, I'm not too worried about, even though they didn't impress me how I would have wanted. I thought this team was going to make the playoffs, honestly. Uh, but I think with development, we'll be just fine. I don't think we have a draft pick that's very good on either side, so... Uh, didn't actually mean to jump into this, but at, with the Hornets pick, we get to pick. Yeah, we didn't even have a first round pick, obviously. So let's just get out of the draft. Either team didn't really have a pick that we're worried about. So we're going to climb both all of the rookies. So Jay Shantan, I'm going to accept. And then we're going to accept everything over here in Charlotte as well. Having marketing on that $18 million contract is huge. I don't think I'm going to be keeping Kenyon Martin. And then on the other side, you got LaMelo, who is a free agent. That's big, obviously. So we got to keep him. Uh, but free agency is going to be big. I don't think we have enough money for like Anthony Davis and Charlotte, but we do have enough money. Uh, we got to get LaMelo though. Never mind. So we don't have enough money to do anything crazy. On the other side of things with the Rockets. Yeah, we're. I mean, we're like 15 million off from being able to sign like Anthony Davis. So we actually might be able to take advantage of free agency here in Houston. So we have Shake Milton and Simons. We have Christopher, Josh Green, Br Brandon Miller, Jay Sean Tate, Tari Eason, Jabari, and then uh, Garuba Shingun. So I immediately see two options we can do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trade away Shake Milton. The Rockets didn't really do that good in the simulation this last season. So if I can get rid of Shake Milton for a good amount of money, that'd be great. So the Lakers want to offer me a top five protected pick. You got the magic. I mean, if I can just get rid of him for a second, I'd be happy, man. So uh, maybe the maybe the Mavericks can take him on my off my hands. So the 76ers. Maybe they trade for Shake Milton back. He can go back to Philadelphia. I'm just trying to, at this point, dump salary. So next one would be Jay Sean Tate at 20 years old. I'm going to try to dump him as well. We got the 76ers again lining up to give me some more assets. The Clippers with one of the Martin twins, Kai Jones, in a sec. I'm not going to make a trade with myself. The Lakers, the Magic, and then you got like Finney Smith. So uh, Christian Coloco in a second from the Raptors. I'm so cool with that. We'll make that trade. And now we should have enough money to sign like a really good free agent. We could sign like Anthony Davis for Houston. Do you have any other? Yeah, Kenny Martin. I'm not worried about him. So that should be solved. Jalen Brown, we could bring him into Houston. A lot of good options. 
Um, give me Jalen Brown in Houston. I would be ecstatic with that. So I'm going to give Jalen Brown a contract. Houston is a great city, and uh, we're going to be the number one offer on Jalen Brown. On the other side of things, obviously, the biggest thing is winning on LaMelo Ball. So we're going to match LaMelo, and then we're going to get Jalen Brown in Houston. So that is amazing. So that should immediately transform the worst team into one of the best. LaMelo. So Jalen Brown essentially is going to be on his own team away from Boston. He's still from Boston as well, which should help out Charlotte in the East. So kind of a double, uh, you know, win there. So I'll say it. Uh, I'll take it. But as far as Charlotte's concerned, we do have enough money to sound like another good free agent. So we have like uh, Cameron Reddish. You have Bo, uh, Bogdan. So now we take a look at our roster. So we got LaMelo, Gary, you got Terrence Mann, you got Lloyd Market and Kai Jones, DeAndre and Zubac. I like that. Kai Jones should develop into a nice, fine backup power forward. We do need a really good small forward. We need a good guard as well. So Jose Alvarado off the bench actually sounds kind of good to me. So I'm going to sign Jose Alvarado here in Charlotte. Houston is solved. We got Houston absolutely solved. So I'm not even worried about that. Uh, I think we pretty much have a full rotation with the Rockets now. So yeah, Jalen Brown, Brandon Miller, got Christopher, Jalen Green, and Atari Eason backing up Jabari. And then yeah, so that this team in Houston should do wonders. That should be a good roster. Charlotte, I'm still working on. Jose Alvarado, Lamelo, Gary Trent, Terrence Mann. Uh, we still need to sign like maybe another good backup or not really Nick Richards, I guess would be the next guy I have to sign. Maybe have to trade Zubac and keep Richards. We'll, we'll figure it out. So got to make one more trade with the Hornets because we are not, this team is not ready to compete whatsoever. So I got to figure out what the next best step, next best step is to put this team over the top. I need a better small forward here in Charlotte. The only guy that's even close to the money I can get to is going to be like Keldon Johnson. He's like the only one I can really get to as far as contract is concerned. Uh, so I'm going to try to get Keldon Johnson. Man and Richards matches his salary pretty good. That's not going to go through immediately, obviously. I don't want to have to throw anybody else in because we don't have a ton of depth as it is here in Charlotte. So I'm going to have to trade first. So 2026 first here in Charlotte. And then 2027 second. Another second, and then I will throw JT Thorne here as well. They don't agree. Damn. Okay. Uh, another first. I hate to do it. They don't agree to that. Keldon Johnson was the only guy I could really get, man. Wow. Not going to be able to get Keldon Johnson. So the only trade I can really make to try to better this Hornets roster is going to be this one with Toronto. We offer Nick Richards, Thor, and Kai Jones over for Jay Sean Tate and Chris Boucher. It's just going to give immediate depth that we kind of need at this moment. So... Uh, it's not great. I'm not in love with it. Don't get me wrong, but it's going to be the depth we kind of need. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have a full rotation here in Charlotte. And of course, the Rockets, we're not even really struggling here in Houston. We have a lot to like here. So uh, unfortunately, in Charlotte, we're kind of struggling a little bit more. So the Rockets development is going to be very important here. At this point, we're just kind of the, oh, we got Kenyon Martin back. So the depth in Houston is amazing. Look at all this development that this team should be really good. Charlotte, I mean, it's pretty solid as well. Uh, a lot of development here as well. So I think we're in, we're in a good position for both teams. So hopefully this season is where we get it done. Both teams end up making the finals. That would be amazing. That is the goal. And we'll see if we can make it happen. So at the end of the season, LaMelo Ball won MVP. Booker, Rookie of the Year, Fold 6, Man, Defense Player goes to AD. Dyson Daniels, Most Approved. Monty Williams is your Coach of the Year, and that is for the Rockets. So we did a good job with Houston. Uh, LaMelo winning MVP is really cool as well. I'm assuming Jalen Green might have made it as well. Nope, he did not. Unfortunately, though, Houston, we got the first seed. And as you can see right above my webcam, second seed in the East for Charlotte. I tried my best. We were so close to getting first seed for both sides, which was what my ultimate goal was. So if we take a look at the player stats for both sides, yeah, 33 from Lamelo, 18 from Aiden, 17 from Gary, and then 17 from Markinen. On the other side of things, you had 27 from Jalen Green, 22 from Jalen Brown, 19 from Simons, and 17 from Jabari. But none of this matters if we lose. So the goal is to get these two teams at least to the finals. If we can't, you know, get both teams at the first seed, let's at least make it to the finals. So I'm not really worried about the Rockets. I think we should be able to take care of business. We're going to go game one. So we lose game one with the Rockets. We even it up, though. We're up 2-0 to zero right now with the Hornets, though. 3-0. to zero. And we are going to hopefully move on. Oh, no, we're in biz we're in trouble here. We are in trouble with the Rockets right now. The Warriors are giving me some problems, which is not great. So let me see if I can uh, maybe come back from a game six. We're going to win game seven, force game or four, win game six, force game seven back to Houston. But we got to make sure we win this one. And of course, oh, my goodness, I thought I was going to eight seated. So, OK, we're still alive. Very, very close, but we're still alive. Here we go. Game seven in Houston. I do not want to get eight seated here. Don't let the challenge die right here. I got to get these two teams to meet up in the finals. Can we get it done? 
We got this one going so far, and I think we don't let them go back. We want it kind of close. Not going to lie to you, but I think we took care of business. Boom. We came back. That was kind of scary, but we are in a reset now. So we're both in the second round with Houston going up against Oklahoma City. We have Giddy. They always have a good roster, as we know, and then Atlanta on the other side. So here we go. It's all, it's all or nothing. We lose game one with the Hornets, but we won game. Oh, my goodness. It's like the opposite right now. Wow. Why is it so opposite? Okay. Okay. We're down 3-1 to one with the Hornets, but we are... Man, this sucks. Okay. So I don't know if we're going to be able to get this done. We're going to we're gonna see if we can get this challenge done, but... Oh, we lost. We lost. Okay. Can I at least win a championship with the Rockets, though? I guess. I, I meant to simcast with the Hornets, but if I could win a championship with the Rockets, I guess I'd feel all right about this challenge, but... Uh, 102 to 132. Let's see some like current round against the Grizzlies. Okay, we get to the finals. Can we beat the Cavs? And no, we lose. So, okay. I want to run it back one more time. We're going to try this one more time with the Hornets, with the Cat, or with the Rockets. Let's see if we can get the first seeds next year for both sides. All right, boys. The last two games of the season. The sweat is absolutely real. Right now, we are tied as the first seed in the East with the Pistons. On the other side, I think we have... It locked up. Yeah, we have it locked up. The first seed is locked up for us with the Rockets. Now, these two games with the Hornets is absolutely crucial. We want the first seed. We got to beat the Raptors. We win. Okay, we got the first seed. All right, Simcast, last game. Let's go Hornets at Magic for the first seed to have this challenge be completed in a way. Come on, man. You got to win this one. No, we're going to lose. Oh, please don't lose the first seed in the last game of the season. We're going to lose this one. We lost this game. Do we keep the first seed? Okay, we kept the first seed. We kept the first seed. Uh, no no big deal. So we still have the first seed unless we go down. No, I think we got it. So we got the first seed with both teams, which was... Yeah, so Hornets and Rockets. Let's go. Both both teams are the first seed. Love it. Love it. 22 from Lamelo, 21 from Aiden, 19 from Markin, 23, 22, and 19. So at this point, the only goal left to do is get both teams in the final. Similar current round. Against both teams. Okay, we're in trouble on the other side, but I think we got this one locked up. Okay, we're up 3-2 to two on the Raptors. Rockets move on. We move on. Okay, get out of round one. That's a good start. We did this last year, though, and then we got bounced in round two. Memphis and Boston, two really good teams, as we know. So let's see what happens. Somebody current round. Okay, we're down 2-1, to one, but up 2-1 to one on that side. Even it up. Okay, 3-1 to one on the Grizzlies. Can we win 3-2? Yes, we can. Can we do the conference finals? Yes, we can. We're in the conference finals, ladies and gentlemen. The Rockets and the Hornets. We have to beat the Hawks and the Kings. Those are the two teams in our way. The Kings have Giannis Antetokounmpo. Oh, no. Game one. We down 1-0 to zero both sides. Okay, we even it up, though. Game three. Okay. Game four. Okay. Can we win game five in Houston? No. We get the Hornets in the finals, but Kings are giving us some problems. Is the challenge going to be lost right here? Come on, baby. We got to win game six and then game seven. Let's go. Come on. Come on. We got this one. It looks like we got this one. Giannis, you need to go home. Please don't choke this. Okay. We're going back to Houston for game seven. Game seven in Houston to complete the challenge to get both teams in the finals. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. We got this. We have the lead. Don't choke it. Don't choke it. We got this. Very close game. Very close game. No, they're going to run away with it at the very end. Are you serious, man? Oh. Do we want a championship at least? Okay, we won with the Hornets at least. Man, the one game away. Oh, that sucks, man. These were our final rosters that we threw together. Definitely an interesting challenge. That video took me 56 minutes to record, and I didn't even go that long. So it was just a lot of thinking and brain power behind everything. So... If you enjoyed the video and made it this far, make sure you guys drop a like in this one. But this is Crushables. I'll see you all, see you all tomorrow. Saying peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click here to watch another video that I know you'll love.